This is the coolest thing I've ever done. Guys, it is currently 7 a.m. and I'm doing something today that I never thought in a million years I would do. I'm excited and I'm also nervous at the same time. So I'm actually gonna be walking out the door here in a couple minutes and I'm taking you guys with me. We're gonna go to Beverly Hills, meet up at a hotel with Justine, Faye Sensor, Yannick Garcia, and a few others. And then we're hopping in a shuttle and we're driving an hour down to Long Beach. Now the part where we get to Long Beach, that's where I'm a little nervous. For the first time ever, I am going to be experiencing a zero G flight, complete weightlessness. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking agreeing to this. So before we leave, I'm actually bringing my good luck charm. This is one of my favorite gifts that I've ever received. It's actually my mom's signature engraved into a leather keychain, and it says, I love you, Matt, in her writing. And I'm gonna take this with me today for good luck, because I feel like I'm gonna need it. This is very special to me. Hi guys, I have made it to the hotel. I'm actually a little early, surprisingly. That never usually happens. I texted my dad and told him what I was doing today. I don't think he understands it, so I sent him a YouTube link so he can watch what's actually happening. Or maybe I'll just show him the video that I make today, tomorrow, if I make it back. Are you excited even now that it's your third time doing it? I am beyond excited. When I saw this email come into my inbox, I like wrote back in all caps, yes, 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 call me in. I'll sign my life away, and I did. Justine's a little overprepared. I have three cameras, a laptop. This is my fourth camera. Three cameras in the bag and a laptop. And a... I have my Nintendo Switch. You... I've got extra batteries for everything. I have three different GoPro mounts. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have a utility belt just <laughs> taking all these cameras out in the middle of the flight? I don't think it's going to work like that. It's not. I'm probably going to use one. 15 minutes late, but the shuttle is finally here. We're ready to go. <laughs> All right, guys, I lied. We're not actually going directly to the airport for the Zero G flight. I think we're at another hotel right now to do some sort of training session. I think we're going to be here for about a half an hour. Hopefully, we learn something here. I don't know. I don't really think there's much to learn about weightlessness. Look who's in the vlog. Doug Sensor Martin in the flesh. Yo, I'm sweating so bad. Oh I'm so God. nervous, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You can't be sweating. Yannette's here, too. I just met Yannette for the first time yesterday. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Justine, again, yeah, she's up? a veteran. She's here. I'm ready. You really are sweating, bro. You see That's it? It's crazy. No, you're joking. No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my name's Arch Harmon. I'm your flight director today. Yeah, so I've been doing this for 13 years since the company started. When we're, when we're flying the parabolic arc, we're actually flying the airplane through a free fall trajectory so that you're basically just falling inside the airplane at the same rate the airplane's falling around you. And that's what causes the weightlessness. Yeah, so, so you are weightless exactly the same way an astronaut is because a spacecraft in orbit is doing that. It's free falling around the Earth. Uh, but moving at a speed where it stays in orbit instead of re-entering the atmosphere. That is incredible. So I, the first thing I asked him is how long he's been doing this. 13 years, a couple hundred flights. I feel like we're in good hands. He's the flight director for today. Yeah. And he just broke it completely down how weightlessness works on the Zero G1 flight. Thank you very much. You bet. We're getting all checked in and they're handing out motion sickness medicine. I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm definitely taking it, just in case. Put that in my pocket. Can I take one of these stickers? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, awesome. All right, guys, we're heading inside now to uh, get our flight suits. Oh, we have our own suits. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Look at this. It's all buckled in and everything. Look. Justine, look at this. My suit has my name on it. It's official. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, wait, that's just the bag. <laughs> okay, let me just... I'll, okay, this is the actual suit. Oh, no way. It's got a Nate Shot patch on it and the passenger's logo. We gotta take our seats. Okay guys, we just got the video breakdown, all the rules, everything that we need to look out for while we're on the flight. And it's actually a good thing that I didn't take this. Justine took two pills and that's what comes in the packet, but you're not supposed to take two. So she's feeling really drowsy. Uh, if you guys didn't know, like I don't really, I don't do any drugs. Like I don't take Nyquil, I don't take Benadryl because like I start having panic attacks. So, so it's really good that I didn't take this. I've got my ticket, 
very, very excited about that. Everybody is almost ready to go. We've got our jumpsuits on. This is going to be incredible. Justine is out like a light, and we've only been on the bus for like 10 minutes. Justine! <laughs> Are you all right? This airport in Long Beach has a very specific noise ordinance. So we have to clear a certain takeoff. So we're gonna be going up extra, extra, extra steep on takeoff. And they told us it's gonna be so steep that they're gonna warn us now that nothing is wrong. It's just, we should expect it. Not gonna lie, that's got me a little nervous. Look how massive this plane is. Oh my God. Justine, are you ready? Oh yeah. You're up, you're awake. Yes. We're ready to go. This is where it's all gonna happen. All right guys, we are in our allotted section. We are finally in the air. We are very, very, very close to the zero G experience. Doug, are you ready? The excitement in this plane is electric. This is gonna be awesome. We're laying on the ground. We're gonna try to do some push-ups here. Hey Doug, how many push-ups can you do in space? Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out too. I'm excited for it, I don't know. Here, Doug Sensor Mar entitled the video 500 push-up challenge, low gravity. <laughs> so I think they said we're first gonna experience gravity on the moon, then we're gonna experience gravity on Mars, and then we're gonna go zero G, no gravity. No! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh! Yo, oh! Hey! We're going to the moon! It's crazy! Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss you guys up. This is incredible. Zero gravity is next. Here we go, first time in zero gravity! This is the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Justine, you are floating through the sky. Oh, snap, what's up? I got the DVD. Passengers, you gotta go see it. I feel like Goku training with King Kai. There's so much gravity. Vegeta, 100 times greater gravity, hyperbolic chamber. No. Oh, what? No, it's not working. No, it's, it's not working. Oh my god, the camera's floating. There we go. Alright, how do I do it? Yeah, boy! Oh, wow. Yeah. Pretty easy, huh? Uh, oh, oh, no. my God. oh, oh my! Oh my! One more! You gonna do another flip? No, I'm waiting for the candy. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm kind of nauseous. Goodbye, zero G. Thank you, but no, thank you. Uh, so that was interesting. What happened, Matt? At, well, as you guys can see, I was having a whole lot of fun, and then my stupid brain got disconnected from the rest of my stupid body and. <laughs> Things went south. I threw up about six or seven times, actually, uh, which was not expected. Coming into this, I really thought there was no possibility that I'd throw up, and I think I was the only one on the plane that did it. The only one out of like 32 people. It really is a mental thing. I don't know, that was not a mental thing. Usually I would agree with you because I panic very easy, but that was not a mental thing. My face lost all color, I had a cold sweat, and then all of a sudden it just, it came. When I looked over, you were pale. I was like, ooh, shoot, I should try to scoot over. Yeah, we're, we're, we won't talk about that anymore. We're on the bus right now. I'm gonna talk to you guys more about the experience when we get back. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Here. Guys, I'm officially certified. I defied gravity, it says right here. It defied projectile vomiting. It's great. All right, guys, I have retired my astronaut jumpsuit for some Italian dinner. Jen is here. You told Joe. 
such as roommate Lauren and Steve. This is more of a celebration meal. And because we're alive, we made it out of there a okay. I really thought it was going to end poorly. It did not. Even though I did throw up, which we're still going to talk about when I get home tonight. We're going to explain what happened. There's a lot of things happening that you guys don't know about. But we want to stop in for some fine Italian dining. I'm going to get the chicken parm. It's going to be fantastic. I'm looking forward to it so much. Alright guys, I wanted to take a few moments to end this vlog to reflect on what happened today because there were a lot of moving parts, literally. The weightlessness, the zero G experience, the flight itself was incredible. You guys saw how much fun I was having and it was once in a lifetime experience. If you guys ever have a chance, you have to try it. There's no way for me to explain to you the sensation that your body feels when you do something like this. And this is a day that I'll never forget. So I think it's even cooler that we have it documented in a vlog and we got to experience it together. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. But there were two really bad things that came out of it today. One, which really isn't that big of a deal, the motion sickness for me. So you guys saw me do that backflip, and then that was the last clip of me on the flight. The reason that is, is because in between the parabolics that you do, in between each wave of weightlessness, I started to get very, very sick. So I actually went with one of the coaches that was standing by me, they escorted me back to the seats, and I started throwing up uncontrollably for the next like 10 minutes. The worst thing about it is that we still had three parabolics left, so I was throwing up to my bag and while we were going weightless, I had my seatbelt on and I was like floating while closing my barf bag to make sure that it didn't float out. I'm not even kidding. I had to like hold my throw up down so that I wouldn't throw up more into the bag that would be open and it would float up into my mouth or whatever. It's disgusting. You guys don't need to hear much about it. It was just a shame that it ruined the rest of the flight for me, but either way, I would definitely do it again. I think I would just maybe try to take some motion sickness medication like Justine did, but not two pills because she was sleeping the whole day. The last thing that I wanted to say is go check out Sensor and Yannette's YouTube channels. I'm sure they talked a lot more in depth about it, but unfortunately, mid-flight, there was an accident and Yannette Garcia actually was injured. I didn't have a problem with me throwing up, but I was gutted sitting next to Yannette when she was in so much pain. And uh, I think it got pretty serious. I'm not sure when their videos are gonna go up, so I don't wanna give you guys any information that isn't correct. But Yannette, I hope you feel better. Doug was taking good care of her. It's a shame that it happened, but it's just one of those risks you take when you're doing something that you can't do every day. Lastly, guys, I wanna give a big thank you to Sony and everybody that was a part of the Passengers movie for sponsoring this video and allowing me to experience something like this with zero G weightlessness. I personally haven't seen the movie yet, but the DVD comes out March 14th. I'm gonna be picking up a copy of my own. I love sci-fi, I love Chris Pratt, I love Jennifer Lawrence. I don't know why I didn't see it in theaters, but at least this way I'll have the DVD and I can sit at home, make my own popcorn, watch the movie and take it all in, especially after this zero G experience. This vlog was really special to me though. I really, really enjoyed it, even making it and just recording the whole thing for you guys. It was so cool. I hope that you guys really did enjoy yourselves today. Thank you so much for watching and you too. We'll see you fudging later. Goodbye.